Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. Let's get right into it. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. They tried coming after your success. The devil sent them after your success, and they were still unable to stop you. Now, the reason why they keep trying to stop you is because they have nothing going on for themselves. It's like everywhere you go, it seems like someone is trying to put themselves in the way. Someone is trying to stop you from becoming successful. Someone is trying to make it hard for you to move forward. When people are making it hard for you to move forward, it's because something inside of them doesn't want to see you complete your goal. Something inside of them doesn't want to see you reach your peak. They don't want to see you reach a certain level of happiness. And when you get to where you're trying to go, it causes you to be overcome by certain feelings of joy. It's like you're happy. You know, you took your life from what it could have been and made it what it should have been the whole entire time, the whole entire time. You are the type of person that sees themselves becoming successful. You see yourself living the life of your dreams. And when there's work that has to be done, when there's extra steps that have to be taken, when there's things that you have to do, you're not going to complain about it. You're not going to be um, upset because of all the work you have to do. You'll sit down and do it. And that's why your success can't be stopped. All right. The devil made some attempts, but he was not going to win. All right. And I'm going to tell you why he wasn't going to win. He's going to try to take your focus off what you're doing. He's going to try to get you to fall back. He's going to try to get you to be distracted. He's going to try to get you to just overall quit. That's where he's going to try to get you. But you have to show that you're willing to keep going. You have to show that you're persistent. You have to stay uh, persistent and say, stay consistent in that type of uh, situation because it can wear you out. It could wear you down. It could make you tired. It could make you feel like giving up. All right. These are just attacks from the devil. You have a higher calling. You have uh, a purpose. There's something that you're supposed to be doing with your life. And sometimes there are people who are sent by the devil to try to interrupt that, to try to get in between that. And you have to stay focused. You have to continue to, to grind it out. All right. Maybe someone at your job is this person. All right. Maybe someone that you're related to may be this person. All right. This may be a neighbor. This could be anyone that you know. All right. You have to be aware of when the devil sends someone into your life to try to get in between your purpose and what God needs you to do here on this earth. There are plenty of important things that we're supposed to be doing, and none of them involve people who are sent by Satan. So what you have to do is when people who are coming into your life, right, they have to have a certain type of character. They have to have a character that's similar to yours. They have to have a spirit that's similar to yours. You have to be a good gauger all right, of the type of people that you let into your life because not everyone that's in your life is going to want to see you succeed. Not everyone in your life is going to want to see you win. Not everyone in your life is going to want to see you cross the finish line. Not everyone in your life is going to want to see you raise your trophy up, be congratulated. Not everybody's going to want to see people throw the confetti for you. All right, you got this whole big vision of, uh, of holding a trophy up, confetti being thrown, people yelling at you, screaming at you, great job, congratulations, you did it. Picture that. I know that feels good, 
right? That's 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 your vision for your success, for your for your end goal, for what you're tr- are trying to achieve with your life. And the devil's looking at that like, ooh, okay, that's what she's trying to do. That's what he's trying to do. Let me send someone to uh, to intervene with those plans that God has for this person's life. You have to make sure that you make your goals your number one priority. You have to make sure that you make success your number one priority because things will happen. People will be sent. Agents will catch on. All right. The devil will use people to try to sabotage you you for your, for having gifts of God, try to sabotage you from having, um, a, a, a way with, um, away with your talents, away with your gifts. All right. Some of us want to be successful in a way to where we have to use everything that we have. We have to use all of our gifts. We have to use all of our energy. We have to use everything that God gave us. And the devil gets upset when he sees you making use out of everything that God gave you. You're supposed to be complaining. You're supposed to be upset. You're supposed to be uh, pointing the finger. You're supposed to be whining over all the roadblocks and all the things that are in your way. All right. You're supposed to be giving up. That's what you're supposed to be doing. The devil is supposed to be winning and you're supposed to be losing. But as a person who believes in God, you're not going to let that happen because your faith is going to carry you over everything that comes your way. Your faith is going to move you past everything that comes your way. And when there's things that you need to do, when you have some worry, you have some doubt, you you are un, unsure, all right, there's some uncertainty, things look a little unclear, you know, uh, looks like you were about to be shining bright, but now the light looks a little dimmer, it looks like you might need to change the light bulb, all right, um, that's just appearances, all right, that's just the devil playing tricks on your mind. If you ever see anything outwardly and it makes it feel like inwardly you're not going to make it or you're not going to be successful or you're not going to have your chance, those are just tricks being played on your mind. All right. You're going to go through a lot of things when you're on your path to success. It's going to be a lot of things that you have to face. It's going to be a lot of things you have to overcome, but you need to have a mind that already sees itself being past those things. And that's what the Bible meant when it says, I have already overcome the world. You have to look at all these things like you've already overcome them. And they like to play mind games. They like to play tricks on your mind. They like to make you think that they are bigger than the strength in you. They're bigger than God in you. They're bigger than the amount of power that you have. And they're not. They're not more powerful than you. Um, someone may inconvenience you, someone may distract you, someone may get in your way, but that person is not more powerful than what's inside of you, all right? Your gifts, your talents, your eagerness, your drive, they're not more powerful than that. So you have to remain in your power and things may inconvenience you, things may get in the way, things may seem like they have the power to stop you, but you have to take control, all right? You have to take control and you have to know that you have power in these situations and you have power over whoever's involved in these types of situations, all right? They're trying to put a stop on your life. They're trying to put a stop on your success, all right? Um, You're never going to be fully taken out. All right. As a person that believes in God, you're never going to be fully taken out. If you know that you can succeed, you will. It, like I said, all it is, is it's just going to be some attempts. They're going to see that you have a calling on your life. It's something special that you're supposed to be doing. And the devil is going to try to get in between that. He's going to try to get in the way of that. He's going to send some entities your way to try to stop that. And you have to be able to recognize when 
something is trying to stop your flow, when something is trying to stop your creativity, when something is trying to stop your process, you have to be aware that maybe you had a, a great week at work and you're being productive, but they don't want you there. So now they put somebody else there that's negative. They see you're a positive person. They put this negative person in there with this attitude who's not going to work to try to throw you off your game and distract you and make you not want to come back because it's stressing you out. People do things like this to try to throw people off, change your schedule, um, add more work to it, ask you to stay later, stuff like that, ask you to come in earlier, anything that they could try to do to cause problems or cause issues. All right. Um, they see you, you working diligently. They see you grinding it out. Um, people will see that you're consistent. People will see that you're focused. And a lot of times the devil will use them to try and get your focus off of what it's supposed to be on. God wants you to be paying attention to your skills, your gifts, your talents, and they're going to try to get you to focus on other things. They're going to try to get you to pay attention to things that don't have anything to do with what you're supposed to be doing. All right. They're not going to be supportive in any way. They're not going to want to help you in any way. They're going to do everything that's opposite of what you're supposed to be doing. So if you're being positive, if you're being peaceful, if you're being, um, you know, a, a person that has respect for other people, certain people will come in and, and just do the opposite and be the opposite and just cause havoc. And it's something that you're going to have to deal with is life and there are different kinds of people, but you don't let it stop you from becoming successful. All right. Some people, it's their personal mission and it's their personal goal to stop some people from living the life that they want. All right. You have an idea of the life that you want. Some people don't. Some people don't have the idea of the life that they want. Instead, they have the idea that they can't have the life they want. So, it's it's like knowing that someone is going to become rich or knowing that someone is going to be wealthy and someone that is upset or jealous has to be around this person. People who can't control how they feel towards others are going to be jealous and are going to be envious of other people. This is why you have to work on yourself because everybody is overcome. Everybody, everybody is overcome by these kinds of things. And you have to be able to control your mood when these types of when, when you undergo these types of uh, changes within your mood. Sometimes you may feel a little jealousy. Sometimes you may feel a little envious. Sometimes you may have a little negative energy. All right. But you have to be in control of that and you have to not let it get the best of you. Something that someone has or something that someone's doing causes you to have some jealousy. That means that what they're doing is something that you want to do. All right. But sometimes, but not sometimes, but people are lazy and they don't do anything. So that's why you'll have haters. And that's why you're, you'll notice that your haters are not doing much. They're either totally fully involved in a work life and they have no out of work life or they're just totally involved in your life period because it's, they're not doing anything and they're nosy and they're like full blown concentrated on you, paying attention to you, focus on you uh, 24 seven. They watching you throw your trash out, watching you walk outside, uh, watching you come back from the store, watching what you order. You step outside, they looking at you. Now you got, they know your schedule. You guys stepping outside at the same time. They dress like you, all this weird crap. All right. You got people who will watch you 24 seven. All right. And then you have people that are just sneaky. They ask people a lot of questions about you. Are right? you'd be surprised how many people will, will, will be talking about you. All right. But have nothing to say to you. Wild stuff. All right. <laughs> wild, wild stuff. So, but either way, your success can't be stopped. They may be nosy. They may be trying to figure you out. They may be trying to stop your flow, but people can't stop what someone doesn't let them stop. All right. There may be this person at your job. There may be this person um, in your family. There may be this person that you know. This may be, there may be this person that you have to see every day, all the time. All right. Maybe this person takes the same schedule as you. 
all right, at for your job, all right, maybe you go to the gym the same time as as this person, all right, maybe it's uh, a, a house manager, maybe it's a a, a, a room, um, maybe it's an apartment manager, something like that, excuse me, maybe it's someone in a position of authority over you, all right, and you have to be their subordinate as far as listening to what they have to say and doing what they have to say. Maybe they're trying to make things difficult for you because they see something in you. Most people who see something in people end up making something difficult for them. And it's just, it is really, it's really just this, right? You have to look at it like this. If you are this person and you feel so good, it's like, you know, that your life is going somewhere, you know, that eventually things are going to change for you and turn out the way you want. You just have an, you, you have an excitement for, for your life and how things are going to go. You know that all I have to do is work hard and I'll get what I want. All I have to do is put in the work and I'll be just fine, right? Because that's, that's all we have to do. All we have to do is work. All we have to do is stay consistent. All we have to do is keep grinding it out, right? But then there are those people who have a dullness to them. They have a lack of of lust for life. All right. They have a lack of excitement. Nothing makes them want to do good. Nothing makes them want to feel good. They look at life like life is over. There are some people whose outlook on life is just so dreary, so down, so negative. It's like they could walk in a room and kill some flowers. You know, like on the cartoon, this person walk in the room, the flowers go, you know, some people are the type of person that They just, they're just super toxic and, you know, they see other people enjoying life. They see other people using their creativity, having the flow of life, having the flow of, of, of God through them, having the flow of peace and positivity through them. And they can't take it. They become upset. They become angry. They become mad because they see that their life is not going the same way. People get real upset when they see that their life is not you know, and they, it's not every day, but it's like your life is pretty much the cartoon where, you know, the person's whistling and the sun is shining and the bird flying and it's like real nice. And then the person comes in and then it starts storming and you need an umbrella and all this other stuff. That's their life. But they're choosing that life. They're choosing to have a life that they don't like. What you realize is that if you don't like your life, you can work towards changing it. That's the difference between the difference between you and me. The difference between you and them is if you don't like something, you're going to work towards changing it. Some people just want to stay stuck. It's like a kid at the playground. It's like you want to get out the mud, but you just stand there. It's like a child crying in the mud, like I'm muddy. And it's like there's a whole hose right there to rinse yourself off. But the child is just standing there in the mud, not knowing that there's a whole hose right there to clean itself off. That's the equivalent to what people are doing. Oh, my life sucks, but they're not doing anything about it. They're not go walking over to the hose to clean off all the dirt off their boots. So some people, some people rather complain. Some people rather take action. And when it comes to action, you're action Jackson. All right, you take action on your life. You're not going to not take action on your life. You are the type of person that likes to keep moving. People who want to stop your success, their success is stopped. People who want to stop your success, they stop their own success. Have no hope, have no desire, have no dream. But when they see someone else with one, it it, it kinds of make it, it makes them upset because they are really hurt and they are really distraught and really upset over the fact that someone else doesn't want to live their life like they chose to. They chose the life they wanted to live. They chose to not do anything other than what they needed to do. Maybe they just chose to have an average life. But you seeking more out of life, they have beef with you because you're choosing not to be average. And it's, it's an energy thing. When, when people are going after their goals, you can see the joy, you can see the happiness, you can see the love, you can see the success all flowing through that person. Their love for life, their love for God, their, their love for their gift, all right? their, their um, gratitude for where they're at. 
like like you you it doesn't matter what level you're on when you start working towards something it changes your your view on life because it raises your level of gratitude you now start being um appreciative of the small things which uh helps you attract bigger things in your life and when you can appreciate the small things it makes a lot of life's concerns and worries just melt away because you know your needs will be met you're grateful for the things that you have you're appreciative of what's it currently in your life and what you're currently experiencing you're not on that anxiety wavelength where uh, enough is just never enough you're 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 content with what you have without being content with what you have you're appreciative of what you have but you know that it's subject to change you know that there's more out there for you there's more to life there's more that you can can get all right. You know, there are better things that you see yourself with, but you're not tripping over it. You're appreciative of what you have right now. And that allows you to stay in the present moment and be peaceful and not have bad anxiety. A lot of people's anxiety is because they're caught between the past and the future. There's none of that in the present moment. All right. So a lot of people who want to stop their success, they're not in the present moment. If they were in the present moment, they would be overcome by positive feelings. They would be overcome by a sensation of of the good uh, that God is. All right, they would understand that God is generous. All right, they would understand that God wants the best for them, even in their sad, sorry state. And that's the thing. Some people are in a sad, sorry state. And when you're not in that sad, sorry state, they're, um, they're going to want to bring you down with them. It's like somebody that's trapped that sees you trying to get out. You throw them the rope and they pull you back down and you were just trying to help them get out. Now we both are stuck. <laughs> that They don't know any better. But since you know better, you have to just mentally uh, you have to mentally raise the bar like and, and, and you have to mentally raise the bar like, OK, I'm going to elevate myself above this toxicity mentally. And then that way I'll be able to elevate it physically and just bounce and be out and leave and never be back. But your success can't be stopped. All right. The devil's going to make some attempts. You're working for the most high when you are working for yourself and you're going after your goals. You're going after your vision, that vision for your life. God put that in you, that that uh, those gifts, those talents. God put that in you when you go after a career, when you go after something that is in alignment with that. The devil has to attack you because you're doing God's work. You're, you're doing his will for your life and you're going to motivate other people to do the same. Other people are going to want to use their talents, their gifts, their the God that they have in them. Then that's that's the whole meaning behind that song. The little light, the little light in you is the God in you. And you have to use that light in you uh, to become the best version of yourself. And when you use that light in you, all right, that's when the attacks come. When you use that light in you, when you activate that light in you, when you be conscious, when you become consciously aware of that light in you that you're supposed to direct, that you're supposed to uh, focus, use to focus, that you're supposed to use to uplift your your spirit, you're you're supposed to use to pick your energy levels back up. All right, you concentrate on that, you focus on that, you uh, surround your 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 energy around that. All right. You use that to make you feel good, to uplift you. Then all the attacks are going to be for nothing. All right. That light, the light in you is more powerful than all those attacks. It's more powerful than anyone trying to stop you. All right. If you focus on that light instead of what they're trying to do to stop you, I guarantee without a shadow of a doubt, you are, you're going to become successful. And you're going to trample all over those scorpions and snakes. You're going to step all over those backstabbers. All right? You're going to step all over those slanderers, people that want, want to see the worst for you. you. You're going to take a dump all on them. And it's going to be dream juice smeared all over their face because they're going to get to see you become successful whether they like it or not. And unfortunately, not everybody wants to see other people win. But that's just because they lost a long time ago. They don't see a win for themselves and you see wins for you. You see unlimited wins for you, infinite wins for you, constant, consistent wins for you. You see yourself being able to win. You see yourself being able to do what you want in life. It pisses people off. They have to be around someone that feels good. They got to work around someone that 
sees the light at the end of the tunnel. People hate to be at a job with a positive person, with a person that knows they're not going to be stuck there forever. And you know you're on to bigger and better things. And they may feel they may not feel that way about themselves. So in order to try to get them to not be irritated by the light in you, they have to try to bring you back down to a level to where that light won't exist but they're not going to be successful and they're never going to be able to fully take you out or diminish that light. Never. They'll never be able to take you out or diminish that light. It's way more powerful than they could ever imagine. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button, smash that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and light. We out.